guys, and welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed and happy to be spending a moment with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lori Latte. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. Large vanilla latte. One pump of caramel. I'm, I'm at McDonald's. I want to talk to you guys about what's going on right now at McDonald's. You know, I'm always going to keep you in the know. Good or bad. All right. It was released in the news two days ago that there's 50 confirmed cases of people getting E. coli poisoning from the Quarter Pounder with cheese at McDonald's. There's an E. coli outbreak linked to the Quarter Pounder with cheese. This actually happens between September 27th and October 10th. So this is old news. One person did not survive. Okay. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to a food establishment. It is the slivered onions. The E. coli is in the onions, so one of their suppliers delivered tainted onions. They've already recalled all the quarter pounders with cheeses. Again, Texas is not a state that was affected. I live in Texas. Nebraska, Colorado, I'm not even sure how many states. I'm going to look for the list and I'll put it in the description box. I'm going to pray for all these folks that got sick. Again, it's past tense and it already happened. So people should have already recovered from it. But I pray that nobody's going to have any complications from it. E. coli is a very deadly bacteria. Okay, vomiting, stomach cramps, you're going to get real sick and you're going to end up in the hospital. Okay, two people have already filed lawsuits against McDonald's. This is devastating for the people that got sick and it's devastating for the McDonald's corporation. I'm going to tell you right now that McDonald's is a very good corporate citizen. Okay, immediately immediately responded, taking full responsibility. They're working very closely with their suppliers, making sure that none of this happen again. And they're doing a full investigation with the supplier that gave them the bad onions. They use what are called slivered onions in their hamburgers. This coffee's delicious. They're working very closely with the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, to get to the bottom of what exactly happened. They're going to take care of all the people that got sick. Of course, they're getting sued, which is the worst thing that could happen. But irregardless of the matter, they're going to take care of these people, all their medical bills. They're going to compensate them. So I'm going to pray for all these folks that got sick. And I'm going to pray for McDonald's. That they have the grace and ability to handle this problem in the best way that they can. Their food is fine. Their food is safe, y'all. Nobody going to want to eat at McDonald's right now. Okay. If your state wasn't affected, you don't have to worry about it. And even if your state was affected, it was the one food item. I wouldn't want to eat at McDonald's, I'll be honest with you. No way in hell would I roll the dice and get. I would not want to get sick like that. All right. So their reputation has been compromised tremendously.
But I can tell you that McDonald's is a great company. They employ a lot of people. They employ special needs people. You know, they're they're great corporate citizens. You know, they they donate money all the time to, to different charities. They're going to get through this. But I'm going to pray for everybody involved in this matter. Especially the people that got sick. They trusted their supplier, and the supplier dropped the ball. I don't know what happened. Cross-contamination? I don't know. The onions that are delivered, I imagine, are already sliced. Maybe they don't clean their equipment the way they're supposed to. I don't know exactly what happened. But they're going to get to the bottom of it. I just wanted to let you know. Pretty much just don't go to McDonald's right now to buy food. Okay. Right now is the time to avoid McDonald's. Just buy coffee. And if you guys have any other information regarding this matter, please link it in the description box. I did ask my McDonald's if they've been affected by this, and they said yes, somewhat. And that's natural. It's going to be naturally. People are going to be avoiding McDonald's. The president of McDonald's immediately made a statement. Again, they're taking complete responsibility. They're going to do everything that they have to do to take care of these folks. And more than anything else, to take care of the problem. So that it doesn't occur again. That's all I wanted to let you know, y'all. I hope everybody has a fantastic.